I guess in this video I am going to discuss about the key difference between array and array list in sysop.net. So first I am going to create array. In this type array I am going to create and here giving the name a double r and here after new keyword and int. So here 3 I have given the size. Now here after a double r 0 index I am going to store or uh, giving the value to m and a double r 1 index giving the value 13 a double r or 2 index giving the value 14 so I have given the size 3 and here I have given the number or elements entered to m 13 and 14 to obtain two elements of the array so let's use the for loop for and here integer value i and that initialize with 0 or start with 1 here a double r dot calling length of method hereafter i will increase by 1 and hereafter console cross dot to right line method so at here I am going to print to array element to a double r and here give this int i and you have to console class dot to right line method so here printing a star so this is a one array I have created a double r and here this uh, this will display the elements in the array so let's execute so here 12 13 and 14 it's displaying now hereafter I'm going to create the array list to Or to create the array list, we need to write at here a to r array l i s t. So it's a array list not showing in the list. So what we need to do at here, or we need to add one limit space using system dot collection. So see at here error gone. So that means our uh, array list class or uh, this or predefined and here the all things written in this namespace now hereafter I am going to create a object and here new array list so here um, uh, let's add some elements in the array list so here we need to use add method so first time I am going to into uh, add here or uh, 22 so this is integer and here after a double r1 so this time going to add a decimal number that is float time here 9.8 and here after a double r1 so this time going to add here a string abc and here after a double r1 dot add so this time going to add one character So let's execute the code and one more thing to print the elements so we need to write at your for loop for so i value taking integer i start from 0 here i less than a double r 1 so if i'm going to search at your length so length method not there so what we need to do at here oh we have to call count method here after i gonna increase so count method that count whatever the elements so that count the elements in the array list so here after console class dot to write that method so at here i'm going to print a double r one of i values now let's execute so right here this is array elements 12 13 14 and or oh, this is the array list element 12 9.8 abc and c so see the difference at here in array list you can enter any kind of data here so this is integer this is a float this is a string and here this is a 
or character but in array you only enter integer so if you declare add here integer so you have to enter only or you have to specify only integer value suppose if you enter at your 12.9 and here it's a error message cannot implicitly convert double to integer so this kind of things so if you give at your or double double so see at here no error odd so this consider 12.9 consider or double here this also is a double so you can only enter double at here and next point if you decrease the size uh, at here to 3 to 2 and you here I enter the elements 3 so definitely that exception generated the exception is the system index order found exception so this kind of situation we have to face if we are using uh, array so here we must uh, consider or we must analyze what, what should be give the array size so here exception but it's a not with array list you can enter in number of element at here so let's enter one more element at here this time I'm going to enter 66 so that is integer so it's uh, error that definitely not come at here so let's give at here or fine so here 66 it's displaying and here uh, since I have given the size of 5, so here this is displaying 5 elements including null character that is 0. So second uh, difference is in uh, array, uh, if you did not enter any element, so that place that to uh, store 0. But so it's not with array lists, it's automatically decrease or uh, increase the size. So at here I just enter 66, so automatically that increase so here yeah, this is the benefit it automatically generates the memory but it's a fixed one time uh, you have given the size so that uh, store the elements if you did not enter them that place that is store zero element so see at here if you decrease so uh, at here I'm going to animate uh, these two elements so uh, let's execute so and here, oh, this is uh, automatically decrease the size and here this is displaying only 3 elements but here it's a fixed. So array list are not a strong tag collection and size will increase or decrease dynamically. And hereafter in array list we can store all data type values. So here we can inter include integer float to double a string character whatever and here if you enter give at your double so you have to enter only double if you enter and if you uh, here give integer so you have to enter only integer so this kind of situation with the array and this is the difference between array and array list so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next time. thank you